If you guys have not already, I want you guys to work on stay in the crate. Good boy. When you're working on stay in the crate, you don't have to be as squeaky as I am. Um, I want you to have a high rate of reinforcement. Good boy. You can use the clicker, you can use praise, use his kibble, use some treats, but I want you to start making it look more realistic. I take one step away, good boy. I really like how calm and quiet he's gonna be and I wanna tell him that. I'm gonna head over this direction. He's still calm and quiet. I'm gonna tell him how good he is. There's a very lovely protocol called the relaxation protocol. I'm gonna turn around. He's still quiet. I'm gonna tell him how much I love that. Um, there's a very lovely protocol called the relaxation protocol that will very intentionally over 14 days set yourself all done. See how he's fussing against it there? I'm just gonna say all done and let him out. I'll talk about the relaxation protocol in a second. So instead of my, me getting stuck between a rock and a hard place, Cooper, go to your crate. When he starts fussing and carrying on, good job. When I'm in training mode, I'm gonna tell him that that sort of behavior makes the game stop. Stay. Stepping away. Hey buddy, you're still quiet. I really like that. Stepping over this direction. Good job. Now, I'm not trying to walk around the house for 15 minutes. I'm not trying to do it with somebody else in the house right now. Turning around. Sorry if this is making you a little nauseous. What a good boy. I really like you being quiet. I'm going to wait for five, four, three, two, one. Tell him how much I love it. What a good boy. All done. This time I'm going to just tell him out of the crate and we're going to go play another game. Read the relaxation protocol. It's going to give you a very nice standard of telling Cooper how much you love it when he's quiet in the crate. And it's going to build the distance that you can be away from him the duration of how long he can stay in the crate and the level of distractions where he can be in the crate when somebody else is coming going from the house, but he's calm and quiet, okay? 90% of our problem comes from the fact that he feels like he can throw a temper tantrum and get what he wants, but that's all very frustration-based. He gets really wound up, gets really frustrated. He's throwing temper tantrums. I don't like any of it. So I want to reset the stage, and when you're working on stay in the crate, Cooper, go to your crate. Come on, bud. Uh-oh, <laughs> I lost him. That's okay, so right now I'm going to help him out. When you're working with him, it's going to help him learn to be nice and calm and quiet in the crate. And less of him reacting to him barking in the crate or pawing at the crate. And so when you have to, he can be calm and quiet in the crate. Good job. So right now I'm kind of doing things that are all on day one of the relaxation protocol. Very short and sweet, high rate of success. Of course, this isn't what real life looks like, but the more I can teach him perfectly that this is what I love, all this quiet, all this calmness, the more he's going to offer it and we'll just build up to the college level tests of having other people come in the house and he's still calm and quiet. Good job. Down the road, this should be a way to get him out of the crate and just onto a dog bed and being calm and quiet. Like, um, at dinner time. Good job. 